It's Tuesday, April 25th, and if you think self-driving autonomous cars are still something that'll arrive in the future, then the future is happening right now in Arizona. Google's robot car spin-off Waymo is testing out some of its self-driving Pacifica hybrid minivans in Phoenix, and they've started an early rider program for some lucky residents. Participants get 24-7 access to the self-driving test vans with the hard-to-miss LiDAR domes on top. The passenger's end of the deal involves giving Waymo feedback on how the vans are working and, of course, volunteering to be guinea pigs of sorts as Waymo irons out the wrinkles of its self-driving tech. According to a post on Medium, Waymo has an order in for 500 of the vans and says they will include hundreds of people in the pilot or pilot list program. Meanwhile, both Uber and GM are testing robot cars in nearby Scottsdale. The future is here, at least in Arizona. So, been waiting to upgrade from your ancient HD TV to one of those shiny new 4K models with all the bells and whistles? Well, the time is now, according to Vizio. 4K TVs have come down in price pretty quickly, and Vizio just rolled out their latest P and M series models. How about $1,600 for a 65-inch HDR model, or under $1,000 for a 55-incher? Heck, we'll take two. For this model year, Vizio has decided that tablets maybe aren't the best choice for a remote and has reverted back to a regular style remote. But we should also note that none of these TVs comes with a built-in over-the-air tuner because who uses one these days anyway? Instead, the displays, as Vizio calls them, include Chromecast built-in along with lots of apps, since most of us stream our shows or use cable boxes. Hit the link for more details. With the release of the Samsung Galaxy S8 phones last month, all attention has turned to the next iPhone. But Samsung has another phone up its sleeve, the, in our opinion, questionably named Galaxy Note 8. That's right, the follow-up to the disaster known as the Note 7 will likely appear several months ahead of Apple's latest and greatest. And while we haven't seen any design clues for the Note 8 from Samsung, that hasn't stopped others from trying their hand at rendering what will hopefully be the non-flammable follow-up to the S8. VGR says the expected specs for the Note 8 include 6 gigs of RAM, 64 and 128 gig memory options, a dual lens camera setup, iris scanner, S Pen, and a hefty 4,000 milliamp battery we hope and pray is tested 10 ways from Sunday before the phones get shipped out. Hit the link for more video and Note 8 predictions. And that's that's all for this edition of DT Daily. Head on over to our Facebook page and YouTube channel for more tech news. And be sure to check out Close to the Metal, our computing podcast, where this week we go in-depth with Intel's Optane memory. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow.